Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about five supplements that are going to help you to have an easier time transitioning into menopause. So that perimenopause state where we're not even sure what's going on, but we're having hot flashes, having trouble sleeping, weight just does not go away. In fact, we're gaining weight even though we're doing all the same things. All of these signs that let us know that our bodies are changing, our hormones are changing. These supplements, these five supplements I'm gonna share with you today are gonna to help to balance your hormones and help you to not have so much of a struggle because we're not meant to struggle with this time of life. So in case we haven't met yet, I'm Angela. I'm a registered nurse and a health coach, and I help women get their health back by balancing their hormones because hormones get in the way. We have so many issues with hormonal imbalances when it comes to estrogen and, uh, and progesterone and insulin and thyroid and our uh, cortisol. There's so many hormones that are involved in us being healthy and we can't just focus on any one. So we're gonna focus on a lot of hormones today and by supplements, by using supplements to help our health. So our number one suggestion today is going to be Vitex. Vitex is a great supplement for helping to get your estrogen and your progesterone in a good balance. What happens in menopause, usually or in perimenopause, is that our progesterone just goes through the floor, like it just bottoms out on us. And our estrogen will continue to go up and down um, and a lot of the reason we're going to talk about a lot of the reason why we have hot flashes and things is because of that up and down. Um, so we're going to do something for that, but we're going to want to try to get a little better balance between the progesterone and the estrogen and Vitex will help with that. Um, if you have um, bad periods, um, especially this is going to be the supplement for you. So number two, the second type of supplement, and I will say a type of supplement, that I would recommend that you consider for perimenopause, especially if you're really struggling with hot flashes, is adrenal adaptogens. So I'm gonna recommend this one for, especially for hot flashes, because most of the time, it's a, a high cortisol um, response. So that's more kind of overactive, and in the notes, I'm going to give you some um, ways to kind of test and see, um, test yourself and see which is better if you want one that brings you up more energy or brings you down kind of more calming. So this is more calming because generally if you're having hot flushes, you, it's because you're too excitable. Um, it's because your, your hormones are too excitable and so they're getting all happy and you want them to just relax. Okay, so that is the second recommendation. So I'm gonna have some more information in the notes below if that is something you're struggling with. The, the third supplement that I'm gonna recommend that you consider is vitamin D3. So D3 helps our bone health. Because of estrogen being high and low and kind of crazy, progesterone being out, out of there pretty much you know non-existent during perimenopause our bones start to suffer we need some help in keeping our bones healthy so what um we need vitamin d but we also have to have cofactors of um, magnesium and k so um, i'm going to put some suggestions in the um in the notes of specific um, K um, and D and all of those um, maybe combination so that if you're not taking tons of supplements um, but this is definitely one to um, think about um, for your overall health moving forward through perimenopause. The fourth supplement that I really recommend that you think about taking is magnesium. So now in this time of life, again, there can be a lot of constriction and, and uh, stress and feeling tight 
and magnesium is a relaxing supplement. It's a, it's a mineral that helps your body to relax. So you will know for sure that you need to be taking a good amount of magnesium if you struggle with um, twitchy or spasmy kind of muscles, if your muscles just kind of start to, to twitch or you just have a lot of tightness. Um, if you're, you've gone had a massage and your massage therapist says, you know, wow, you're really tight, it could be because you need some magnesium. But also if you have constipation, um, if you have headaches a lot, if you have acid reflux, um, these can all be symptoms of low magnesium level and magnesium on its own can help a lot of those um, just by them by itself. It can actually help all of those if that's really the only cause, um, and sometimes it is. So magnesium, you can also get a lab test called a red blood cell magnesium level um, at your doctor to find out not just your serum magnesium, but to find out the red blood cell magnesium, which is gonna give you more of a long-term view of how much magnesium you have on an ongoing basis in your body um, to know so that you're not over um, overdoing don't take anything without talking to your doctor first so i'm giving you these uh, suggestions and having you know, giving you some things to think about but i definitely want to make sure that you don't just take my word for it talk to your doctor talk to your healthcare provider um, make sure especially if you're on any kind of medication make sure that you're getting um, individualized uh, suggestions because I'm just talking to the random person who is is finding me on YouTube and I don't really know your specific case um, today here oh, in, in except for that maybe you're dealing with menopause and that's why you're here um, but there can be a lot of other things going on so definitely um, talk to your doctor another thing though just so you know about magnesium is it can help with um, insulin resistance. So magnesium um, is often a, just a deficiency that we have in the American uh, Western, in general Western diet. And so um, if you replete your body in magnesium, you can experience uh, better blood sugar regulation. So that is another reason to consider it. And insulin resistance becomes more and more of a problem as we near menopause. So there you go. That is number four. And the fifth and final supplement that I want you to talk to your doctor about is fish oil. So fish oil is super great <laughs> for helping your um, body to be less inflamed. So as we age, we just experience inflammation. And when we eat and live life and do things, we can have more inflammation. And it can also actually help with hot flashes too, um, fish oil. Because of this anti-inflammatory effect, can also help with hot flashes. So, um, but just for your overall health so that you can get your health back, um, omega-3 fatty acids that are in fish oil are great for helping you to improve your heart health, to decrease inflammation, which will um, increase your health overall. It can decrease pain if you're having inflammation. Um, so definitely um, consider some uh, fish oil or eating fish, a good, clean, healthy, mercury, low mercury fish, um, fatty fish, uh, about two or three times a week. All right, so that is number five. All right, so there you go. Those are five supplements that you can consider taking to improve your experience of menopause and reduce the symptoms and also get your health back and be healthy during um, menopause and beyond. Those supplements were Vitex, fish oil, in no particular order, um, <laughs> Vitex fish oil, adrenal adaptogenic herbs, 
vitamin D and magnesium. All right, so if you found this helpful, if you're going through menopause, if you wanna get your health back, be, be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so that you are notified every time that I have a new video posted and um, because those are the things that I talk about and I would love to answer your questions. So be sure to subscribe and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.